Welcome back everyone to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and today we need to fix some issues because if we would pick up our backpack let's sell some items to our NPC you can see we already had issues with widget refreshing but also if we would now we sell a different item with a different character, buy back the items that the first character sold and then with the first character if we would try to buy back this item we are still able to buy back this item and technically this way we are duplicating the items um, in the store maybe it wouldn't matter as much maybe depends on what you desire from your game but if we use the similar system for our chest this is gonna be a very very big issue that we don't want to have so let's try to fix it first things first let's go to our UI uh, let's see confirm by widget so we're gonna need to do some changes over here so let's leave that open also we will need our AI shop so let's open up that one as well and also we need our AI interactions interface which we have attached to our AI shop first um, we need to check before we can actually buy an item we need to check if the item is still available um, since I am replicating my system through custom events which are ran on server they are not returning any return values so we need to do a separate function to check uh, if the item is still available so let's open up our AI interactions interface and let's add a new function to this and I'm gonna call this is item available and this thing needs a couple of inputs so the first one is we need the actual item itself which is our s slots structure type and we also want to uh, pass along an index to that specific item which needs to be an integer we also need a output which i'm going to call just a return and this needs to be a boolean now that we have this uh, function right here that means that in our AI shop now it, it should be available for us since we have attached this interface to our uh, shop so in our is item available what we want to do is we want to break our slots structure and I'm gonna split the item itself and then I'm gonna drag in the shops inventory and I'm gonna get a copy and I'm gonna use the index from the input to retrieve this item then I'm gonna split these and I'm gonna split the item itself as well and what I want to check for is simply if the row names are equal so that basically whether uh, the same item is in that specific location still Later on probably we will add some more equipment pieces with some durability for axes and armors and stuff then we probably will do some more uh, conditioning over here but as of right now this is good enough so we can compile and save this. Now let's go to our UI confirm by and here is some change here we want to make some changes basically so first uh, just like previously we do want to check if we have plenty of money like we are checking here uh, so I'm gonna move all of this back part back a little bit and from here what we want to do is uh, what was the name again is item is item available a message so the function that we created in our interface for the item we want to use our item of course and for the index we want to use our item index now for the target uh, we want to drag from our player reference and we want to get the interactable variable and that it can be our target reference then from this return value we can do an if branch check to see if we found the item and if we have if it's true if it's still available then we can run our add items if it's not well then we can simply refresh our widgets now um, that sort of fixes the bug with well not sort of it does fix the bug with duplicating the items uh, but also there is another mistake I have made and that is with refreshing widgets sometimes the widgets are acting strangely I got this report from from you guys basically uh, I've also did some more testing on it and yes there are a few issues with refreshing widgets properly uh, so what I actually want to do is change this whole thing up a little bit and the first thing that I want to do is go to my third person character find our create widgets function and over here uh, we are 
uh, creating our widget at the bottom part and at the end we are setting that UI is open. Also there is one more thing that I want to add so I'm gonna add a new variable and I'm gonna call this uh, let's call this widget let's call this widget position in my case since I uh, gave the input name position so I'm gonna call this widget position and this is going to be a string and at the end if it says is open I'm gonna set this to be the same that comes from the input. Now with that being done we can compile and save go back to our UI confirm by and over here what I want to do is change up these end parts right here. So for that what I actually will do is this is this looks very very messy so I will just simply create a new custom event and I'm gonna call this refresh widget. What I want to do over here is simply let's first copy these nodes right here so let's connect this so we have a source but instead of running a source what I want to do is so over here as our character I want to get our is UI open and I also want to get our widget position so once we have both of these values available I want to replace the source with the widget position and also I want to do an if branch check to see if uh, this widget is if any of the widgets is open and if any of the widgets are open then we can refresh it using the widgets position so on true we are going to refresh that and now with this uh, this being a separate separate event we can remove all of these ending parts and we can connect our uh, no so I've so I deleted the um, pressed button event so no on clicked we can run the same thing we can remove from parent check if the widget is open if it is then we can refresh that now here that means that on our move items we want to run our refresh widget function like so and I'm gonna copy one over here as well so here from this false we can run that and actually let me do a couple of reroutes over here because we want to have one from this false right here so let's make it look a little nicer so another reroute then we want to have another reroute over here from this false route and then we also want to run it here at the end now with this being done our widgets should be refreshing a little bit better with less issues if you find any more uh, errors or any mistakes that i've made throughout the way let me know join my discord it's an actually very very good place for people to look for help because i can help you in discord a lot better than i can do in youtube comments because with youtube comments it is very uh, very long to reply and to understand what exactly is the issue that you are having uh, also make sure to connect the default as well to this one because in discord we can uh, you can share your screen uh, and I, I can help you a lot better because I can see what actually uh, what kind of blueprints you actually have so make sure to check the link down in the description join my discord subscribe my channel and I see you tomorrow with another video